This episode of Chat Chow is sponsored by Fever Tree, the natural premium mixer. Stay tuned after the show to see Fever Tree mixed into a dark and stormy cocktail. Can you tell us what we're eating yes. today? Beautiful. Right now you have one of our signature dishes. I can't say the signature because it's an argument inside, but <laughs> my favorite, the Connecticut lobster roll, split top main roll, buttered, crispy, fresh main lobster, claw knuckle tail, lightly warmed in butter, a little lemon. It's the Good. best. So Sabin, we're here at yep. your food truck. Can you start us off with a little bit of your background? Yeah, I am uh, I'm from Maine, Scarborough, Maine. It's a town right outside of Portland. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I've lived here in Los Angeles for about six years. Wow. Missed my hometown, missed my food, so I decided uh, my cousin and I would bring it out to Los Angeles. Awesome. What inspired you guys to kind of start a food truck? Uh, you know, we saw the market. We saw that there are so many, mm -hmm. so many good ones that offer such a diverse menu, and right. we, you know, we crave the food that we grew up on. So, exactly. uh, you know, we said, let's make it accessible for us and for everyone else, and uh, right. that's it. The rest is history. Can you tell us a little bit about the process of how the lobster comes from Maine all the way over here to yep. our ham? Yeah, yeah. The um, the lobster is caught. It is sent to a distribu uh, distributor. It's quarantined. It's gone through a, a cleansing process, mm. cooked, shelled, sorted, and mm. sent here. Twenty four hours later, we are serving it. So uh, wow. we fly it in every day with the rolls. That's a huge part. The rolls are uh, are New England style rolls. So they're hot dog rolls, but flat on the side. And um, high in yeast, really, really amazing, buttery. Yeah. It's one of a kind. I have to get you one today. <laughs> what is the difference between the Maine lobster roll and other lobster rolls? I know you guys have a Connecticut lobster yep. roll as well. The, uh, the Maine roll is the traditional roll where you have cocktail style, cold meat with a little mayonnaise and a warm, crispy bun. In Maine, that's really all your options. Okay. But we decided to do a couple different options, which was the Connecticut roll warm meat, a little melted butter, a little lemon. So it's kind of like if you're cracking the shell open and dipping it into the butter, you could have best of both worlds. I prefer the Connecticut roll. My cousin Jimmy's a main guy, so we fight. But it's pretty 50-50 on the truck. People, you know, some like one, some like the other, so. Mm, just depends on what kind you like. It depends what mood you're in, exactly. <laughs> I see. So there have been some changes in the lobster industry, and lobster is now very sustainable. Can you tell us how that's yeah, I mean, the, the main lobster industry is just incredible in, in like no other place in that they put on the, the tightest rules, regulations, and sanctions upon, you know, their, their catch. So what that means is they're protecting the future of the lobster and making sure that there is going to be a future and they're not just taking, taking, taking. Exactly. And, um, you know, the proof's in the pudding. This past year, they pulled in over 105 million pounds of lobster. Wow. And, uh, you know... You can see from the lines and the people, everyone loves it and they just keep coming back for more and more. So it's awesome. <laughs> Definitely. So can you tell us about some of the best and worst things about being mobile as opposed to having like... Yeah, well, yeah. I, can, yeah, I mean, best thing is we get to reach a lot of people. You know, sometimes right. if you're in a restaurant, you're stuck in one neighborhood. Right. Today we are in Santa Monica. Tomorrow we're deep in the valley. Mm -hmm. Then we're in South Bay and then we're you know, back to Mid Wilshire. So, we get to reach people, spread the name, spread the brand, and have people try our, our food. Uh, you know, the one of the negative things is just, you know, in a truck, it's it's like anything else. There's always little things that go wrong. Um, you know, nothing major, but I guess that's like in any restaurant. There's always little things that go wrong. But, right. you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love it. And, you know, we took a risk and we weren't sure, mm -hmm. but we are so happy we did it. It's awesome. You guys have a lobster ice cream on the menu. Never heard of that before. Yeah, Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, we put lobster ice cream on the menu because when we first heard of it, we were like you or like anyone else, like, mm -hmm. come on, that's crazy. <laughs> um, but they, what they do is we fly that in from Maine as well. They uh, poach the lobster in butter, mm -hmm. make it a really rich, buttery taste, mm -hmm. served in a really vanilla bean, rich, buttery ice cream. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's savory. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you have to be daring to try, but people love it. One last question. Yep. Do you have any tips for like people at home cooking lobster? Any quick tips? Buy from Maine. Get the <laughs> okay. best. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the proof's in the pudding. You want the best lobster. It comes from Maine. And then just figure out if you like it cocktail style, cold, or if you want to steam them and mm. make rolls, however you want to do it. But whatever you do, get them from Maine. Sounds great. All right, All right. let's go 
Get in the truck. <laughs> All right, Sabrina. So we got our buddy here, Anthony. This guy hey, is Anthony. the man. He's the expert when it comes to lobster rolls. <laughs> and get us started with the most important part, possibly the most important part. Possibly the most important part is your buttered roll. Make sure you get a nice, good slather on both sides because we are going to crisp them on the flat top. Anthony considers himself butter. a butter aficionado and a roll aficionado. There's a contest on the truck to see who, who does the best rolls. I think right now Anthony might be winning. I don't know. I don't want to get his ego too high. Let's try it. Let's try it. How are they looking? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice turn. Beautiful. Nice turn. Try, well buddy. done. We're going to warm up some fresh lobster for you. You can take the fresh butter. So we got tail, knuckle, claw. All ready to go, all ready to pick. So we get the butter nice and warm. Really, this doesn't take but you know, a couple seconds just to get it going. If you cook it too long, it gets a little, it's a little hard and rubbery. Go ahead, put it over. There you go, nice and hot. We're moving over here to the station. Paul's just putting the finishing touches, a little more lemon, a little butter. How do you not eat a lobster all day? <laughs> now these guys are, I think they're sick of it. Anna, you sick of lobster? When we first opened, it was like... <laughs> he had his fill. Okay, let's Go try for it. it. <laughs> Don't be shy. Oh yeah. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> it's a success. For dessert, lobster oh ice cream from Maine. Let's have a toast. Cheers. Cheers. I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Let's Cheers. go for it. <laughs> you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, that's really good. See? That's really surprisingly. And, not there, you, and there you have it. Perfect. Lesson learned. Lobster ice cream is your friend. Welcome, everyone. My name is Matt Cunningham. I work at the River Oyster Bar downtown Miami. We are here to feature one of our specialty drinks here. It's called the Dark and Stormy, made with fresh pureed ginger roots, fresh lime, a little sweetener, and fever tree mixers. We make it with a Gosling's Black Seal Rum from Bermuda, where the drink originated. Homemade fresh ginger beer. Slight shake. Topped off with a fever tree mixer. And a lime. Enjoy.